The great thing about being pessimistic as I was, <laughs> I guess I can't be... I'm only moderately disappointed about how the league turned out. Pokemon! 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 Hello everyone, I'm Dustin Mizzle, and welcome to another Pokemon X, Y, and Z anime discussion. Yes, I'm quickly making this video. I still have yet to edit my other videos in regards to what I have, so hopefully they'll be edited first and uploaded, or maybe uploaded around the same time. So, of course, we're going to talk about the conclusion of Alon versus Ash in the Kalos League. Now, of course, a lot of people are upset, and of course, <laughs> spoilers, people are upset because Ash lost. And, you know, I'm kind of in a situation where my pessimistic, you know, I, I feel like I'm more amused about the situation than actually upset. Don't get me wrong, I do get some of the complaints, but then again, it's always countered by the if Ash did win there's all these negative points for Ash winning, uh, uh, just like there are some negative points about Ash losing or whatever. I mean, I get it after almost 20 years, and the Kalos League, you know, and with everything going on with Sun and Moon, you would think, this could be it. This could be the league that Ash wins. But nope, we don't get that at all, you know. And, you know, I, I just suspected from the very beginning that Ash was just not going to have any favors. I even said multiple times that I this just didn't feel right, uh, at least in regards to everything we have. The league was rushed, and I've constantly said that this was an, a, a, a Sawyer and a Lawn battle tournament, and as, that, as it turns out, it was just a Sawyer and a lawn battle tournament. Not only did we get a whole episode devoted just for Sawyer's battle with Tierno, we got a good chunk of time with Alon's battle with Remo, which is different than what Ash got. Ash didn't get anything. He got two one-hit KOs practically in his battle. That was pretty much it. And the only battles that the writers and the producers and animators ever really devoted on, not counting Ash versus Furfru Trainer, was of course against Sawyer and against Delon. So as it turns out, this was nothing more than an, a Sawyer and Delon battle, a, a battle tournament. And for that reason alone, I just can't understand why people would be so upset that Ash lost because, I, I mean, it. It, it didn't feel right. It didn't feel like it was. It made sense for Ash to win it, you know. And and I it, I did make a comment on one of KG Prestige's video in regards to how I felt because a lot of people are really upset. I mean, I looked at TV Tokyo just before recording this, and uh, apparently all their Pokemon videos have been taken down or hidden or something. I don't know if they always do that, but I remember there being a, like a month or two of Pokemon previews for the next episode that I could go back, but all of them seem to be absent, especially, except, of course, the one that's coming up next week, you know, and it, oh, there are so many dislikes on that video, and I guess I, I just find this really amusing you know, I mean, I get why people are upset, but at the same time, it's not like Ash winning would have done any favors for Ash's character in of itself. And of course, it, on uh, in the comment in KG Prestige, I give three reasons why it would have been bad if Ash won the league. First off, and I know I've said this repeatedly, but there were no interesting cameos for Ash at all. There was no Delia. Ash's mother. There was no Oak that has been with Ash since the beginning. No Brock, no Misty, no May, no Max, no Non, no Silent. Pretty sure I'm not forgetting anyone. I'm pretty sure. Stop putting that name in the comment section. <laughs> None of Ash's po past Pokemon showed up. 
and, and and I'm like, do you really want Ash to win a league where it serves no benefit to Ash's character as a whole? Because the way that the league was structured, the way that the league was handled, if Ash won, it would have only been benefiting the sixth generation Ash. It would have only been for the sixth generation Ash. The fifth generation Ash, the fourth generation Ash, third, second, first generation would have been completely ignored. The, this league did not feel like a buildup of all of these struggles and tribulations and all these trials and hardships or whatever. It was only about sixth generation. And, and for something like Ash to actually win the league, why would you want that? Why would you want this to only benefit sixth generation Ash rather than the character as a whole, the character that we've watched 20 years, this would have benefited, this would have been only great for sixth generation anime uh, Ash as well as the people who only watch sixth generation Ash. For people who have watched 20 years, I think Ash winning the Kalos League would have done injustice to the character itself because it wasn't handled properly. It wasn't done properly. If Ash was going to win a league, we would have seen all of these cameos of his mother, of Professor Oak. Brock and Misty probably would have shown up because it would have geared to the, to the, the obvious fact that Ash would have won and it would have, and it would have, it would have, done justice through his whole character if there were all these cameos, you know, and, and even then we didn't even get the proper cameos of 6th generation, we didn't get Alexa, we didn't get Viola, or whatever, if that really matters, we didn't get Corinna, we didn't get any of those interesting characters that we've met, you know, we didn't see Wolfric at all, you know, I mean, it, it's like, it, it was obvious in hindsight that Ash wasn't going to win this league because they weren't treating it as Ash was going to win this league because they did not put as much effort into Ash's character as they would. The, the, the only thing that they did was uh, comparative in regards to the league, uh, Ash just felt like a random character. Th this league really did feel more like it was about Sawyer and Alon, and, and Ash was just this nobody character that was, you know, he was the main character, but it was like, he, his whole character was glossed over, and that was just, Ash winning would have done no justice for his character outside of sixth generation, and I, it, it's not like this, it didn't feel like this was Ash's league, and it really didn't. So other... Other things, uh, if Ash did win, it would have done, it wouldn't have been beneficial in some ways because of his Pokemon. Noivern only gets at best a tie. Gudra only gets a at best a tie. You know, it's. It, would you have wanted Ash to win a league if his Pokemon that he used to win the league were pretty much treated like trash? I mean, I, I don't know about you, but if I was if I was going to want Ash to win the league, I mean, I don't mind Ash winning a league without his past generation Pokemon. At the very least, they can cameo. At the very least, they can cameo. But Ash winning a league with all of his one generation's Pokemon that he caught at the same at the time, then I would feel like they would need to have justice. You know, Noivern knocking out Salamence. Gudra knocking out B Sharp or two of Alon's Pokemon, doing justice to his Pokemon so that they can get wins, that would have been more complete and would have been better served. At this particular point, Ash only would have won the league just because of Pikachu and Greninja. And I, I don't know if I like the concept of only two Pokemon, the, the special Pokemon of Ash's being the one that carried Ash to the victory. So then, of course, the third reason, and this is the 
primary one, and it's one that made it really obvious that Ash wasn't going to win, and that, of course, was Sun and Moon's release date in November 18th. And, of course, when I made the comment in KG Prestige's video, I, I did uh, make a joke about how after the 10,000 episodes of Team Flare arc that we're going to get, we're barely only going to have five episodes before Sun and Moon come out. I mean, we're, we're already... We're already hitting nearly October by the end of the Team Flare arc. Like, literally, September 15th is supposedly the conclusion. We have at most one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, approximately seven to eight episodes left and there's no guarantee that they're going to be all episodes because of that one hour special i'm assuming we're going to get a break soon in regards to the x y and z so there's even going to be even less episodes and 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 i say here the reason why i don't think it would it, it why ash winning wouldn't have done any benefit to Ash's character as a whole is because there would be no time to do an Elite Four or Champion. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm sure there's an excuse. Uh, the whole Kalos League being attacked by Team Flare could have prevented Ash from doing the championship. But, oh, hey, Ash, go check out the Alola region, get new Pokemon, and then when you've done the island trial challenge then come back and maybe we'll be ready for you to challenge and then maybe they would have had a nice conclusion of ash winning or whatever but i, I you know i i don't know it just it's a little disappointing that yeah that if ash did win that there just wouldn't have been any time for ash to have a proper elite four champion now i suppose a lot of people probably would argue hey you know as long as Ash wins the league, that's fine. Ash could go ahead and lose to the first Elite Four member, beating one or two of their Pokemon, and then losing otherwise. And then Ash is like, well, it looks like I, I I did win a league, but I didn't quite do what I set out to accomplish and send it to the Alola region. But even then, I just... I don't know. I feel like if Ash was going to beat the league, I would also want Ash to beat the Elite Four beat the champion, have this great party in Ash's honor of becoming the new champion, well, technically, <laughs> and, and then, you know, retire his character. That, that That's something that I was always a little hesitant. It was always why I didn't think Ash would have ever won the league, because there would just be no time to retire his character. You know, I, there could have been ways that they've gone... But it was pretty clear with all the Team Flare focus and arc and climax afterwards that they just quickly rushed the league so much that Ash just didn't win, you know. So they they didn't think of what, what they could have done. They just went... <laughs> Unfortunately, as, as I've said, there is one equaling thing that makes Ash losing very bitter... And it is because of Sun and Moon. And I've addressed this in, I believe I addressed this at least a little bit in regards to my Pokemon Sun and Moon videos. But the outright replacement for Jim's Elite Four and Champion is why Ash losing, I can see being very bitter. Because it seems to me that this is was Ash's last chance to ever win a league. Now, I'm not saying that pessimistically, as in Ash will never beat a league. I'm just saying that with the replacement of the gyms, Ash is not going to have the gyms, and we're not going to have the Elite Four. We're not going to have that champion aspect. We're just going to have the cousin version, the less popular cousin of that particular challenge in the anime. Now, uh, granted... The anime could do whatever they want and make it similar, but it, it just definitely won't feel the same. It won't be, it won't feel like Ash anymore, and, th and that's kind of the issue here that I have, and it's why I can understand why people are upset, and, and it is equal in terms of if Ash did win and Ash did lose, it, it just isn't going to feel like an Ash series anymore, 
when Ash goes and battles the Island Trial Challenge. I mean, the, the only way to compensate is maybe people could bring up the Orange Islands, you know, being, hey, those were there, but, you know, I, I, I just don't know if... I, I don't know if it's going to make any sense for Ash to travel to the Alola region and not have gems, not be able to challenge gems, get his badge trinkets, and train his Pokemon to some league that a whole bunch of people have gathered and then just battle them and then maybe win the league. It, it, it's just going to be a, re, a poor replacement, and, and, the, and that's the problem. And, and, you know, and I say here... At this particular point, if if Game Freak doesn't care about their about certain core mechanics of their own games, then I'm not expecting gems to come back in eighth generation, ninth generation, and so forth. And then I say here, even if I'm wrong, and gems will properly return to the games in eighth generation, that will be almost a decade, sixty-eight years. And we would have to wait until Ash potentially would win a league that he is used to, that we are all used to. The 20 years, almost 20 years that we've been there with Ash throughout his whole entire journey. We would have to wait nearly a decade to see that proper Ash return. At this particular point, I fear that Ash is just going to be re rebooted just like in 5th generation, and Ash is going to be treated lesser than his 6th generation counterpart because that Sun and Moon decided, hey, we're not going to do gems anymore. We're not going to add in an addition to make the games have more content. We're just going to outright replace gems with this Island Trial Challenge, which is convoluted on and complex at best because Kahuna's are like apparently supposed to be like elite four, but then the trial captains have been said to be stronger than the kahunas because that was the whole entire point, you know, and then there's that island trial champion person that seemingly beat all the kahunas and got to the point where that person did become the island trial champion. <clears throat> and that's why all these other people have re became captains, you know, you know, is because they couldn't beat the island trial champion, you know, and so it's like, well, they should be stronger than the kahunas because they did the island trial challenge, so it's like, well, there's only four gym leaders, the kahunas, and then there's like a whole bunch of elite four, you know, I mean, sure, Ash could challenge the island trial captains and the kahunas and everything, but the whole format and structure is so completely different that I, I I just don't know. I just don't know if this is acceptable. Now, to be fair, the island trial captains could technically be stronger than the kahunas, but that doesn't mean they'll be treated as. Because Charon was one of the stronger trainers in black and white you know he was he was your main rival Bianca was kind of your lesser rival while Charon was kind of your main rival and he got so far up there that he eventually went back and became a gym leader he became the normal type gym leader and I think even dialogue within the episode said that he wishes that he could use his old Pokemon or that he, he he's disappointed that he has to use these lesser Pokemon. So I can see the argument that even if the island captains are technically stronger than Kahuna's, that if they were going to create their anime-only version of Jim's Elite Four and Champion, that the Kahuna's were beatable for the Island Trial Challenge, being lesser, but at their strongest that even the island trial captains could not beat, but for, like, uh, testing purposes, like what gym leaders are do, they're there to test, they're to use their Pokemon that they have to their strengths of that particular Pokemon. So, yeah, uh, like, maybe Ramos's Go-Go is his strongest Pokemon that Ash beat with Froggy Deer, 
or maybe he, uh, Ramos used a particular go-goat that was beatable and not the one that Ramos has been using all the way through or whatever. So maybe they could do something like that. And, and I could see that, but I, ju I just don't know. It would be an anime-only concept that, that the whole convoluted island trial captains, the kahunas, the whole island trial challenge, you know, it, it, it honestly... It doesn't feel like something Ash should intrude on since this is something particular, but I, you know, I guess they they they're just gonna have to do a anime only competition, you know, uh, or an island tri uh, where maybe one of Ash's traveling companions will do the island trial challenge, but Ash will do something different. Maybe the trial captains are stronger than the Kunas, maybe even close to elite four in strength. Well, not completely based on the anime, but enough to give Ash a decent challenge that even his traveling companion doing the island trial challenge wouldn't be good enough to do that. You know, wouldn't be good enough to do that because the whole island trial challenge is to become a proper trainer. You know, I, I, I don't know how they're going to do it, and, and because of that, it, it's why I this does seem like Ash's last chance to ever defeat a league that we're used to, and it, it feels like it would be too long, too long of a wait if they if the gems do return at some point. You know, it, so I, I don't know, unless Game Freak Nintendo decide to release something in Sun and Moon that said, hey, uh, I know you all think that gems are being replaced and there's no Elite Four and Champion, but... Uh, you're, you're wrong. <laughs> the Island Trial Challenge was just a big, fun prologue that you could go through, and then afterwards you actually get to battle the the uh, the the gym leaders that are Island Trial Captains, you know, uh, different four Elite Four, and, and the Island Trial Champion is, of course, the Champion Champion or whatever. I, I don't know how they're going to do it, but it, it does seem like they did completely mess up here and and I do blame sun and moon more than anything I blame sun and moon because if we had an extra year if game freak actually gave us a proper third version versions of sixth generation I feel like we would have gotten justice and Ash could have won the league and they would have done a little bit better. But I feel like the writers and producers were so rushed that they couldn't think of anything else. The Island Trial Challenge probably threw a, th a complete wrench in their way of writing that they just had no choice but at the time to write the league this way because, oh, Sun and Moon are coming out. Oh, okay, well, uh, we're assuming that it's just going to be the same. And then all of a sudden... It turns out that it's not the same, and it was just at that particular point, it was probably too late to change the league and make Ash win, or there just wasn't enough time for Ash to win because there isn't that much time. And maybe even the writers and producers are a little upset that they did put more effort into the Team Flare arc climax conclusion, whatever that's going to happen, more so than on the league and maybe they're upset because they just rushed it because of sun and moon and they just wanted to get to sun and moon not realizing the negative aspects of what they did but at the same time there just wasn't any p benefit to ash defeating winning against alon you know i mean well winning against alon there would have been a benefit definitely but the concept of itself ash winning the cows league that i just don't think there was that good of a benefit of outside of Finally, Ash won a league. Outside of that, I just don't see that there's any benefit or whatever. I can understand people are upset. I just don't think that there just wasn't any justice that would have been dealt if Ash won the league. But that's all just my opinion, all my perspectives. And we're going to just go ahead and move on with the Team Flare art stuff. There really isn't anything I can talk about all that much except everything we've already known, but in the trailer, we, uh, in trailers that we've seen, we've seen that um, Ash has been knocked unconscious um, in the whole entire preview of Team Flare. We saw Ash kind of being tortured a little bit, it seemed like it, uh, 
we also saw Alon uh, seemingly at first being with Ash, being like, what's going on, and defending, and then we see this little moment of Alon being torn completely about what's going on, and he just looks down, and I don't know if Ash is screaming at him, uh, because the, uh, the voiceover kind of conflicts with what's going on, because in the voiceover, uh, Ash's voice actress, uh, Rika Matsumoto Satoshi, Satoshi's voice actress was saying Alan Alan in during that particular moment, but it was clearly a voiceover, and often voiceovers have absolutely nothing to do with the episode. And I mean, uh, in in relation to the dialogue within the episode, so it was hard to say whether or not Ash was there and was like upset that Alan worked for Team Flare or whatever. So and then outside of that, we saw uh. P uh Blue Zygarde core becoming this red Zygarde that seems to be mutating even further based on another uh, part of the trailer that we saw, you know. And then, of course, there's the Zygarde complete puny Chan. I, I, I don't know if it was in this episode or a preview for the next, but I think we did see Puny Chan running away. In fact, I think it was in this particular episode, the, the conclusion to the League arc. Because, if I'm not mistaken, it was like at the moment where Alon was presented the trophy for winning the league, and then that's when everything has started attacking, and of course, then I think Puget Chan left, and of course, everything's in chaos and chaotic or whatever, and it, it, it does feel like they did put more effort into the Team Flare con 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 conclusion, climax, the Team Flare arc that's going to happen, that's going to span seven episodes approximately. We see, we have, or at least five episodes. Let's see, we have, we have one, two, three, four, five. At least five episodes of straight Team Flare. And, and even then, there's still no guarantee that the one-hour special will actually conclude the Team Flare arc, you know, and also in the trailers that we saw, we saw Ash Greninja again doing its thing or whatever, but I, I don't know, I can, I can kind of see why people would be like, well, yeah, so so what, Ash Greninja shows up again, it lost to Mega Charizard X. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen with the Team Flare arc climax, but I am, I, I, can, I am disappointed that they did put more effort into the Team Flare climax over the league, and it's... It's also kind of why I'm glad that Ash lost, because if Ash did win the way that that happened with the lesser quality league in comparison to what happened with the Team Flare, I don't know, there's just a lot of ups and downs and everything. I just, I'm so mixed on this, that's why it's like so amusing. Everyone seems to be, I guess, either very negative or very positive. But I'm mixed. I, I just don't think it would have been beneficial for Ash's character as a whole if he did win the league. And at the same time, I definitely understand why people are really upset with the league. And outside of that, there's really nothing I can say in regards to the X, Y, and Z series. This at least confirms that Ash is going to be in the Alola region. Because if Ash wasn't going to be in the Alola region, then... Well... <laughs> <coughs> Well, we're gonna we're gonna hear my rant if Ash is retired as a main character after having lost the Kalos League when we find out that Ash is no longer gonna be the main character after sixth generation. Oh, you can expect that rant to happen, because you know, as much as I would have hated Ash being replaced as a main character with his character not doing justice with so little time left before Sun and Moon, you can bet your bottom dollar that I would even be more upset if Ash lost the league as well as retired as the main character, like Ash just gave up. So, yeah, um, you would see Crazy Dustin if we found out that Ash was no longer going to be the main character for the anime series. So, so right now, it seems that we at least Ash will continue on, and maybe that'll mean that I will probably do reviews for Sun and Moon, possibly, hopefully. I don't know, it just depends. 
Ash gets a pop Theo and that's it. No, nope, no, nope, sorry, I'm not, I'm not going to do the review. No, I'm just kidding. It, it'll depend on a lot of circumstances and whether or not I'm in a position to be able to re um, review it. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. The X, Y, and Z is still going to continue on until then. So anyway, uh, I don't know if there's going to be anything else to talk about uh, later on in regards to August. Uh, next week, of course, will be the first Team Flare episode, uh, Climax episode uh, of 5 or whatever. So anyway, I guess I'll talk to you then in regards to X, Y, and Z. So thank you for watching. I'm Dustin Benzel, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.